San Juan, Puerto Rico, AP, an explosive eruption rocked La Sofriere volcano on the eastern Caribbean island of St. Vincent on Friday following mandatory evacuation orders from the local government. Emergency management officials said the ash column was about 20,000 feet, 6 kilometers, high and that the ash was headed east into the Atlantic Ocean. However, heavy ashfall also was reported in communities around the volcano, said Aracilla Joseph, director of the University of the West Indies Seismic Center. More explosions could occur, she said, adding that it was impossible to predict whether any potential upcoming explosions would be bigger or smaller than the first one. There were no immediate reports of casualties. The volcano last erupted in 1979, and a previous eruption in 1902 killed some 1,600 people. The new eruption followed mandatory evacuation orders issued Thursday for people who live near the volcano. Officials plan to place them aboard cruise ships, send them to nearby islands or take them to shelters elsewhere in St. Vincent that are outside the danger zone. Roughly 16,000 people live in the red zone and will need to be evacuated, Joseph, said. The pandemic could hamper evacuation efforts. Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves said in a press conference that people have to be vaccinated if they go aboard a cruise ship or are granted temporary refuge in another island. He said two Royal Caribbean cruise ships are expected to arrive by Friday and a third one in the coming days, as well as two Carnival cruise ships by Friday. Islands that have said they would accept evacuees include St. Lucia, Grenada, Barbados and Antigua. Not everything is going to go perfect, but if we all cooperate, we will come through this stronger than ever," Gonsalves said. He noted that he was talking to Caribbean governments to accept people's ID cards if they don't have a passport. This is an emergency situation, and everybody understands that," he said. Gonsalves added that he highly recommends those who opt to go to a shelter in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, an island chain of more than 100,000 people, be vaccinated. Emergency management teams have been going out to communities in the red zone and providing transportation to safer locations, including pre-arranged shelters, according to Joseph. They know who doesn't have transportation because all of this has been canvassed before, she said, adding that those who board the cruise ship would not be taken elsewhere but would remain there for an unspecified period of time. By late Thursday evening, shelters were filling up as a string of car lights making their way to safer ground twinkled through the darkened mountains. John Renton, a school principal who was in charge of one shelter, said in a phone interview that they had plenty of masks and other personal protective equipment but needed more cots.